something to do with the dad and I can't figure it out you guys the emperor's reverse that's dad again I keep seeing him he's all over this whole spread literally it's like dad 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 like we got what's up uh, quick um but we want Eugenia to be her best self and we want Eugenia to get better um I also thought it was strange that she was like saying like she was literally saying she was like oh yeah I've been gone since January but she wasn't in rehab for six months so, like what was going on what was she doing like I i've done a couple commentary videos where i did bring up the fact that she was off the internet for quite some time it was like five to six months but yeah i don't really oh my god <gasps> this is bad <laughs> i don't need for anybody who knows tarot you probably just literally crapped your pants uh that's bad <laughs> That's really bad. This is literally a tower. That's okay. So here's some context for those girlies who were like me, who was like, "What is the tower, and why is it bad?" So the tower basically it says here that the keywords are conflict, overthrow, disruption, disapproval, and unexpected change. It says the tower cards show a tall building being struck by lightning. It is in flames and about to topple. The lightning signifies that the gods are angry or disapproving. The fool encounters disruptive changes and crisis when forced him to question his journey. This card suggests that things are not going according to plan and asks us to reevaluate our current path. That's really bad. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's just go into it. So first and foremost, the Eight of Swords is like a victim of circumstance or being pressured, trapped, and pushed. Uh, so um, if I ever pull an Eight of Swords reverse, especially if we're looking at a specific person and they're this Eight of Swords that's reversed, um, they're literally a victim of the circumstances around them. The Four of Wands would be their environment. So they're Okay, y'all, I'm reading out of my handy dandy guide and it says that the Eight of Swords is a situation seems hopeless and you can't see a way out. You have run out of excuses and can no longer avoid making a decision. There is no escape. You must learn to trust others and shouldn't be afraid to ask or seek help. Which, wow, it's actually troubling how relatable these cards are to Eugenia going through the video. But then he did mention, what was it, the Four of Wands. He said the Four of Wands promises a time of peace and harmony, although more hard work will be required to soon resolve the problems and the conflict that arises. So already this is getting fairly interesting, and he only pulled the first couple cards. So they're a victim of their environment, and the Tower card is a dramatic catastrophic event. This is chaos, drama, fighting. This is literally something that is built up to fail. This is something that's destined to fail. This is something that has a faulty foundation that has existed for years and is chaos. This would We talk about Eugenia's unfortunate situation all the time on my channel, and I have said so many times in so many videos I had to take down because I keep getting flagged for them, but I have said so many times that Eugenia is set up to fail by her parents not just deb deb plays a significant role in her failure during life um but her father is just as guilty because he is her father and he should have stepped up and done something to protect his daughter now the thing that i find so interesting about this is deb has literally set eugenia up to fail her entire life with going to get her own place she didn't allow that to happen maybe for a week but everybody knows that deb was hovered over her the entire time and chip her brother was forced to live with her as well and then you guys you had this whole experience with her trying to go get her license and deb literally stuffed a cone under the car so that eugenia would fail and it was just the whole her whole situation with being set up to fail is it's tragic. It really is. This would be the connection with her mother, um, allegedly. Um, the Four of Wands is also literally, I don't know if you can see, it's a mom and a dad. So, right off the bat, does anybody know anything about her dad? Um, this is something else that everybody finds so damn. There's literally channels and, like, different forum pages and blogs that, like, dedicate themselves to finding out, like, the identity of Eugenia's dad to the extent where it's crazy. A lot of people have really been trying to find out what he looks like, what his real name is. And I know a lot of people, there is a lot of people who know he had a DUI charge in the past. It's all in public records. I'm going to leave that at that because the situation gets more intense than just the DUI. But with that being said, I think that it is very interesting. This tarot reading is very interesting because it's calling out the mom, but the dad is involved so much like every other tarot card is like talking about the dad and it gets pretty wicked 
But y'all, damn. I'm ranting. Let's get back to the video. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, here's what I'll tell you. The Four of Wands being reversed is also a house. So if the Four of Wands is reversed, that house that we saw is a show house. There is, I know she said they own another place, but there's something off with the house. I know we all saw it in the video, but that's a show house. That is a show house. That is, that doesn't, there's, it's reversed. I don't think. This is the comment that made me want to react to this video and comment on it and share it with all of you. Because it's very uncomfortable to think about them having two different houses, but for the purpose of one just being a show house. And it makes sense because you know how the Coonies are very publicly private and i hope that makes sense they're super publicly private so they are public figures and deb is always on camera with eugenia nine times out of ten she's there but somehow they're still so private so little is known about them and i feel like maybe this is why they have that show house maybe because they only want people to see certain things they don't want their real life to be out there so they're like let's just it's just i don't know i hope y'all are understanding the point i'm trying to make I'm also very, very sick right now, you guys. I'm sure you can hear and tell. So my it's hard right now to form like cognitive sentences and thoughts. So I'm more so just going to be rambling on throughout this video, and I hope that's okay. This video is so interesting. Let's just get back First, into it. I don't think that they're all living in that house as much as they're saying they're living. That's a show house. I don't understand. There's something off. Either that's a show house or there's another place that has more information that they didn't tell us about in that video because there's a house missing. The Four of Wands means that that's either a show house or there's a house missing. There has to be. There has to be. There has to be. That's literally the home card, for me at least. I want y'all to jump down to the comment section and let me know how you feel about this tarot reading towards Eugenia so far. I feel like it is making sense and I feel like it's actually helping me maybe understand the situation a little bit better because whenever you hear it in certain terms such as how the cards are presenting them it just it helps it click in your head house but i don't there's something else there's something else now the two of cups is upright the strength cards upright and the page of pentacles is reversed let me tell you something that scares the crap out of me because that right there is about not meeting expectations that means eugenia this is eugenia and her connection to her mom right the two of cups is like a loving bond a very strong loving bond right hey um it's revoke um here to give a little bit more context why was that so awkward <laughs> yeah i'm so sorry that was so freaking awkward i don't know what just took over me but giving context again to the girlies who are like me and don't know what the hell he's talking about when it comes down to the cards like the meaning of the cards i understand what he's saying you know but the meaning of the card two of cups okay it says here that the two of cup heralds the start of a new personal relationship it feels as though you have met your match and another person you see yourself reflected by your partner and find out about new aspects of your character through his or her eyes this card can indicate a marriage or conception of a child or another creative endeavor which deb cooney they're talking about you All right and the strength card is stubbornness which means it's gone on forever okay and it also means that her mom is very strong and stern will never stop doing what she wants she's very very think of it like a Taurus, super stubborn um but the page of pentacles is about expectations so this means that she has high expectations and that eugenia can never meet them that is honestly so sad and that's honestly it seems like a very true dynamic between deb and eugenia i mean we don't need them to sit down and make a video talking about their relationship we can see it on camera we can see it in the way that they interact with each other and the way they look at each other even and you can see it i feel like actions speak louder than words so when eugenia's sitting there like oh yeah my mom she's so great yeah i love my mom you know you can just see it on her face you can see it in her eyes especially when they're doing a video together the way they look at each other sometimes like you can just see and could you imagine having a sick dynamic with your mother to the point where you love her so much and you just want to make her happy, but nothing you do is ever going to be good enough, like ever. You can go above and beyond and your mother is still going to look down to you and tell you you're not good enough, tell you what you're doing isn't, isn't it, you know? It's just, it has to be very hard. That's literally what that means. That means that, that allegedly, that means that um, she feels like she can never meet her expectations, and she feels like she can never meet her mom's expectations. Those are insane expectations, by the way. Um, and uh, again, I'm worried about, I'm worried about punishment. Oh my god, I pulled the Empress of Earth. That's mom. This I really hope y'all are still with me, and this video isn't boring you, because I know tarot readings, like, they're not for everybody, but I find this video so interesting, and the way that these cards are, like, hitting the freaking nail 
with the hammer every time he pulls one down it's like it's insane but i just let me know in the comments if you, this interests you guys if you think this is accurate if you think the tarot cards are just bs i don't know let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts about them are i kind of believe in them and i've never had a reading done personally but i feel like the tarot cards are very it's an effective method in my opinion so let's just let's get back to the video this page of wands is reversed so this would be about stifling your individuality stifling your voice stifling your creativity this also means her mom has her hand in all of her creative projects um, the again like just hit a home run with that statement because we just said in the last video and i even said i used to think like not used to think but i gave deb credit that what if she is just an innocent mom then I said in the same breath bullshit because the very next line, I was like, Deb is directing this. Like Deb is directing this entire video and go check out the previous video we just made. And you'll see exactly what I am talking about. Deb has Eugenia click trained like a puppy and it's sad. She has her on cue. She directs her videos. She makes her do certain things in her videos. She films her walking up the stairs in a skirt and puts it up for millions of people to see deb has a hand in everything eugenia does content creation wise and it is sick and disturbing that eugenia her mom has so much power over her it's honestly disturbing because eugenia is a grown woman um the eight of pentacles is upright with the four of cups so the four of cups would be like uh wanting to detach eugenia wants to detach there's nothing more that she wants to do than, than detach the eight of pentacles is upright which says that eugenia should have been sending out smoke signals uh that means that she's been putting an effort to detach she has been telling someone this page of wands is also reversed which means her mom found out so there's another person here that we don't know about that she eugenia has reached out to or sent a smoke signal to 100 percent. this Oh my god, I am like, my mind, like when he said this, my mind started like, shh, just like racing, like who could it be? And I was thinking maybe it was her grandmother, maybe that's why her grandmother did have a riff with Deb. You heard them fighting in the background and multiple times during Eugenia's stream, and even in one stream, you can hear the grandma yelling to Deb, you're killing her, and it's sad. Another thing, y'all, is... Maybe she talked to Shane Dawson because he did make that documentary with her. Maybe she did reach out to him. Maybe she reached out to Jeffree Star. Maybe it was Jacqueline Glenn who she talked to about this. Maybe it was her dad because her dad is away from home and lives on the opposite side of the country. She sent on tons of attendees on the East Coast while they were over on the West Coast. But now I'm pretty sure they're back under the same roof. I really don't know the situation. But... I find it interesting. I find it fairly interesting that she did reach out and send the smoke signal to how he said, who is it? Who do y'all think it could have been? Because I really don't know that many people who were close to Eugenia and stayed close to Eugenia. The one person I do remember was like Johnny Gilbert or something. He was another YouTuber who I did see do a couple things with. I don't think it would be him, but I'm just saying, you know, like there are so many people it could have been, but nobody I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. If she would have sent a smoke signal, like if she would just throw smoke to somebody and say, hey, I need help. Who do y'all think it would be? Because there's a couple people who pop up in my mind, but I don't know. 100%. She has tried to get out before. There is someone that knows information. They should be coming forward because the Eight of Pentacles is upright, which usually means effort is rewarded. So this person should be coming forward. There should be another person coming forward 100%. Um, the page of I know there's going to be some people who say this too. Hey, it's Jacqueline Glenn, because that's what I thought as well for this, at least this little segment. But this happened after Jacqueline tried to 5150 her and like they stopped being friends. Maybe, I don't know. It could still be Jacqueline. I don't know. Let me know y'all's thoughts about this in the comments section. It's so crazy to think about, honestly. Um, the Page of Wands, is, excuse me, Page of Swords is reverse, and the Empress is reverse. Empress is mom, and she's reverse. Empress, yeah, that's mom. Literally, she's reversed, which means that she abuses her power. Uh, that's an abuse of control, abuse of power. Um, the Peter Sword is always about fighting. Um, and when it's reversed, it tells me people walk on eggshells around her, they're afraid to fight. That is 100% true. And the, the Temperance card, well, allegedly. Um, the Temperance card. Uh, <laughs> that is me 100%. When I sit down and I do these videos and I'm like rambling off about speculation, I'm like, oh my God, like, can you imagine? Like, that's how she lives, allegedly, because I don't know. It's all speculation. <laughs> so that's very funny. But y'all, these cards are very intense. It gives me that vibe. Again, we've talked about it. Y'all have talked about it so many times that 
Deb would be like walking on eggshells. You've seen a video where she was trying to teach Eugenia how to drive. There was no communication, no nothing. Eugenia was just like trying her best. And Deb was like, oh, don't don't hit the flower pot. Put your buckle on. Like, that's not the gear shift. Oh, my goodness. You wasn't looking out of your window properly. Oh, my goodness. Like, the rear view mirror. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, going off. And it's like, that would be hard to be around. And that's when she's on camera. So, can you imagine when it's, like, off camera? Whew. Temperance card uh, being upright is um, about patience and balance. Uh, however, the problem I have with this is that her mother is very meticulous about everything. And she will wait forever for her opportunities. Um She's also going to strike back at Jacqueline. So, y'all, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. Because if y'all y'all go watch this video, it's on Eugenia Cooney's YouTube channel, and it's about her trying to go get her driver's license. So her mom takes her to DMV. She ends up failing the test because, as I said, a traffic cone just randomly, I don't know how it got there, just spawned in underneath her car like you're in a laggy GTA server. So the thing is... Deb's been sent her for failure, but Deb was in the car, okay, and Eugenia's talking to her about the person who was doing the driver's test with her, who was in the vehicle, who was going to pass her or not, and she said that she was going, like, 35 in, like, a 30-mile-per-hour zone or something. I can't really remember, but she was going a little bit over the speed limit, and just so y'all know, you can go, I think, up to, like, five miles or something over the speed limit, and you're not going to get flagged or anything, and you're not supposed to drive too slow, especially when the speed is up. But anyway, the driver told her, you know, just go a little bit faster, and Eugenia told her mom that, and her mom was like, so she told you to go higher than the speed limit. And Eugenia was like, um, yeah. And that lady lost her job. <laughs> um, it was in a different video somebody was talking about. They live in the area that Eugenia got her driver's license at, you know what I mean, or tried to get her license at. And they had talked about how the lady who helped Eugenia or tried to help Eugenia get her license got fired. So I'm just saying. So good luck, girl. She's coming right for you. Uh, the Page of Swords is reversed, which means she's held on to this for a long period of time. <laughs> so good luck, girl. She's coming right for you. Uh, the Page of Swords is reversed, which means she's held on to this for a long period of time. <laughs> he was like, good luck, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'd be scared. I'd be mortified. A evil woman like Deb coming out for you, holding a grudge for years, coming after you. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my God. That's like, she's like an elephant. You know, elephants will actually hold a grudges like a motherfucker. They really will. Um, there is this one article about an elephant who actually literally crumpled somebody's casket while they were in the process of being buried here this woman had disrespected this elephant to some form and when she passed this elephant brought its entire tribe and ran over her grave and destroyed her village and y'all can google this and find the article it's a real thing so deb is like an elephant she can just hold a damn grudge <laughs> she has some dirt on jacqueline uh, i don't know how she got it i don't know maybe eugenie accidentally told her because whatever but Girl, good luck. Um, just imagine yeah. you're just chilling in the comfort of your home. You're scrolling through YouTube videos and you find somebody doing a tarot reading and you're like, this seems interesting. Let me click on it. And then you click on it and the psychic is like, girl, somebody's coming for you. And you're just like, what? <laughs> um, the Eight of Cups is upright. The Page of Cups is reversed. And the Three of Pentacles is upright. So the Eight of Cups being upright is makes sense, right? She temporarily walked away from all of her stuff. The three of Hi, it's Revoke. Back to give some context to the girlies. So it says the Eight of Cups right here in my little guidebook. It says the Eight of Cups indicates that you may need to go away for a while to work out what is really important to you. Nothing seems to bring the satisfaction for which you are yearning. You must find a way to gain some perspective of your life before deciding what you do next. Which would make sense why she took that long of a break if she really was just trying to figure it out and what would be best for her and maybe taking that time off was her focusing on her health and actually trying and maybe that was her eight of cup card all of her stuff the three of pentacles means her job is fine so eugenie's not going anywhere but the the three of pentacles this is actually really sad when you read it and relate it to eugenia now it says the three of pentacles indicates that you will be recognized for your skills and achievements while establishing a new venture you have honed your skills and built a good reputation now you must reassess your goals and develop in a new direction financial affairs will blossom and oops i dropped my guidance book got it 
Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, that's very sad because it's kind of indicating that Eugenia could have really had success if she would have continued that positivity. I covered the first stream that she did when she came back and I said, oh my goodness, this is the most positive I have ever seen Eugenia. This is the most positive I have ever seen her live stream chat in the comment section. And I was like, this is so insane. And to see how, how bad it flopped. Like that whole goal of hers really flopped because she fell back into this this illness and it's very sad and we talk about it literally all the time over here on this channel it's so sad too because i see a lot of people who comment and say eugenia you affect me so negatively why won't you get the help and she brushes it off and she always says she's fine and it's just sad because when she came back and talked about it there are so many people who was like you're actually really helping me on on my journey right now and seeing you try to get help it's really making me want to want to try to get it too and to see how many people now in her comment section are like hey this has been affecting me for years and you're making it worse and she's just like well don't watch me then it's sad honestly but the page of cops being reversed means that eugenia does not enjoy anything that's going on so i made a short video about this as well and i think it's still up i'm pretty sure it is but I had a lot of people who commented on that video and was like, girl, you're reaching because it showed Eugenia coming back to sit down on her live stream. She had to step away for a minute and the camera just so happened to catch a little glimpse of her face in the mirror as she was coming back to her chair and she looked miserable. She looked so sad and I had pointed that out. But as soon as she sat back down, like before her face hit the camera frame, big smile. She was glowing. And I was like, that's sad because it looked like she was really miserable, like she don't want to be doing this. And people was like, girl, you don't walk around looking happy all the time, do you? And I was like, well, no, I don't walk around smiling all the time, but I don't walk around looking that miserable. So if anybody is telling you otherwise, I mean, Eugenia is not pleased with what's going on. She definitely doesn't know who to trust, but she's also not naive or as stupid as she looks or as people think she is or anything of the sort. Um, the page now, this is interesting, and I've talked about this before, too, and just picked a little bit of fun i'm not gonna lie in the last video i did where i said i was gonna send her um an adjective adjective an article book and just because and i had said this so many times that i feel like now with her being ill as long as she has her current state today she just she can't she's not cognitive and if y'all think that she's running around making cognitive decisions wow you know but the thing that I had touched about was just, it's sad because I do think she is aware of the situation and she knows what is happening to her and she just plays into this dumb persona. And I think it's sad because she does have potential. And I talked about it in all of her videos that are older that I've been covering. She does have a personality. She used to be a goofy person. She posted a lot of sarcasm videos and a lot of comedy skits. She did a parody of the 73 questions with Vogue, but did it with Eugenia Cooney. And she did a lot of fun videos back in the day, and now she's not enjoying it. The sort. Um, the Page of Cups is reversed. She knows that her mom is not sentimental. She knows her mom is not invested. She knows. Yes, she still loves her. Yes, the bond is still strong, although it's not a healthy bond. It's just because this bond is strong doesn't mean it's always healthy, especially with the strength card. Situation with her parents. Are they divorced? Did he die? Because this is like marriage reversed or commitment reversed, the justice card is reversed, and the king of cups is upright. There has to be something to do with her upbringing or her dad. There, this is deep, deep rooted. Eugenia justice. should literally write a book about her life or get help writing a book about her life, but like not saying like hi i'm eugenia you know what i mean but like if she would anonymously write a book about her life that book would probably be like a number one seller with how just dynamic and weird and shifty everything really is in her life especially when it comes to her parents like there is so much speculation about the father and again it's mostly because he's totally offline he's kind of like chip they can be mentioned every now and then but they don't want to show their face they don't want to be any they don't have anything to do with having an online presence so there was really not a lot known about them i did make a short documentary called the cooney family chaos where i did a touch on her mother her brother and her father and the little bit that we have seen of her father and it, there's really not that much there but there has been some times and interactions with eugenia where it was fairly again uncomfortable to watch like how it is with deb watching deb interact with eugenia uncomfortable 
and it just goes to show if Deb is this wicked and twisted, how bad is the father? And then again, maybe he's so offline because he's against what's happening with his daughter and what Deb is encouraging her to do, and maybe that's why there's such a rift in the family. Who really knows? It's all speculation, and that's why this video is so very interesting to watch. I feel like this is the most information we've heard about the father. Deep rooted. The justice card is averse. Does anyone know the situation? Because I'm worried that she's being blamed for the situation for that situation. I don't think Eugenia should be blamed for the situation, but this is what I'm kind of thinking in my head if these are the cards that he is pulling for the father and Deb's relationship right now. So maybe Deb and the father had kind of a rift on how to parent Eugenia because of this condition that she has. So maybe they kind of butted heads when it came down to parenting and seeking help for her. Maybe that caused the split up. Maybe it was something with, I don't know, you know what I mean? But maybe just a butted heads on parenting styles or something. Maybe that's what caused the breakup and maybe Eugenia feels like she's to blame for that. Or maybe the mother blames Eugenia for the butting heads of how they parent. I don't know. Again, this is speculation, but this is just what I'm thinking for that. Issue. Um, have they, are they divorced? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to ask my Twitch chat. Do you know if they're divorced? Are they divorced or are they together? Like, what's the situation? Because there is a blame here. This is an emotional person. So this is like emotional chaos. Um, and this would be like the, the separation between the two of them. And this is about her feeling guilty or getting blame. This is interesting too, because they never really talked about, Eugenia never mentioned if her parents were divorced or anything. She just kind of plays like, yeah, my dad works on the East Coast. And I don't know, but if they were divorced, it would make sense why the dad wouldn't be around all that much. Maybe the mother has custody. How Deb has custody, I don't freaking know. Maybe the dad, she had dirt on the dad because Deb is one of those people who we talked about earlier. She's an elephant. She can hold a grudge. So maybe the mom has something on the dad and was like, sign away custody to me or like this is going to come out or something. He said he was a businessman. So maybe he didn't want to affect his image or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. But they never talked about if they were divorced, but it would make sense in a way. I don't know. This is so crazy, y'all. This is the first time I've ever watched one of this guy's videos or one of this guy's videos. And I enjoy it. Like, I've been pretty invested this entire video. Believe it or not, we're only halfway through this reading and this video has been crazy long. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I am going to finish this up in a part two. I'll be posting that tomorrow or the next day. It really depends. With that being said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Excuse my voice. I am so sick. But with that also being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.